Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manavak. Today is Friday, 33rd week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, Come let, let us give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for, his for his great love, love is without end. end. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Come, Come let us give thanks to the Lord, to the Lord for his great love is without end. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Come, Come let us give thanks to the Lord, Lord for, his for his great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us give thanks, thanks to the Lord, the Lord for, his for His great love, love is without end. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. O oh, pure heart, create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me, but not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, as sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, reveal the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel, will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior, those who put to shame and disgrace, 
who vent their anger against him, those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols, and pray God that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by my every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give him the small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious 
than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet in my palace are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever, the joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my own name for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death, but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. You cannot please everyone, or we cannot please everyone. Hindi lahat ng tao natutuwa sa atin, or matutuwa sa atin. Siguro naranasan natin to kahit sa mga anak nyo, asawa nyo, siguro sa kadahilanan, Iba-ibang personality, iba-ibang temperaments. You cannot please everyone. Sa ating Ibanghelyo at sa buhay ng ating Panginoon, napaka-obvious. Hindi natuwa lahat ang, sa mga sinabi ng ating Panginoon o sa Panginoon. May mga kadahilanan, mga instances, lalo na sa buhay ng ating Panginoon at maaring sa buhay din natin, na hindi sasangayon lahat, hindi matutuwa lahat sa atin. Mula sa Ebanghelyo, sa buhay ng ating Panginoon, unang-una, ayaw ng iba kapag ka ikaw ay nagsasabi ng katotohanan. Tila baga, comfortable ang iba sa kasinungalingan. Ayaw nila ang katotohanan. The moment you speak the truth, they oppose you, they are against you, In the case of our Lord, people even think of killing Him, putting Him to death. Kapag ka nagsabi tayo ng katotohanan. Ikalawa, kapag ka ipinagtanggol natin ang mga api, ang mga inaapi. Hindi man obvious ang dahilan kung bakit ginawa ng Panginoon itong pag-overturn, pagtapon ng mga money changers tables, mga lamesa dito sa Ibanghelyo, sa templo. At yung pagkasabi niya na, You have made it a den of thieves. My house shall be a house of prayer. Hindi man obvious sa atin ang dahilan. Pero sa pagturo ng mga biblical experts, ang templo ay ang lugar kung saan inaale ang mga hayop. At bago ialay ang mga hayop, doon sa templo may binibenta mga hayop, kailangan bilhin. Pero ang ordinaring pera ay hindi pwedeng bumili ng hayop. Kaya kailangan na ipagpalit, magkaroon ng exchange of currency. Kaya nga meron ditong money changers table. At yun lang pera na pinagpalit sa ordinaryong pera ang pwedeng ibili ng mga hayop para isakripisyo doon sa templo. At dito, nagkakaroon ng cut 
ang mga religious leaders. Yung mga binanggit dito, scribes, chief priests, and lead- leaders of the people. At nagiging pabigat para sa mga mahihirap ang pagbili ng hayop. Kaya tinawag ng ating Panginoon, sinabi ng ating Panginoon, you have made it a den of thieves. Kaya pagka pinagtanggol natin ang mga api, may mga umaaray yung negosyo nila, yung interest nila, magagalit sila. At pangatlong dahilan, kapag ka ikaw ay gumawa ng kabutihan sa buong buhay ng ating Panginoon, ni minsan wala siyang ginawang kasamaan. Puro kabutihan. Tila baga uli, ang kabutihan ay magnet ng kasamaan. Kapag ka gumawa ka ng mabuti, ayaw ng ibang tao ang ginagawa mo. Para bang pwede nating sabihin, there are really evil people out there. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, we cannot please everyone, but like the Lord Jesus, who gave us an example, we can continue doing what we ought to do in life, no matter what it takes. Kahit pang buhay natin, sa pagsabi ng katotohanan, sa pagtanggol sa mga api, at sa paggawa ng kabutihan. Tulad sa Ebanghelyo, meron ko kontra sa atin, meron ding maniniwala. Kaya ang choice sa atin, mapagpipilian lang naman natin, maging katulad ni Kristo o maging katulad ng kanyang audience ng tagapakinig sa kanya. Maniwala o komontra. We can always take sides. I hope we take side, the side of the truth the side of goodness, the side of doing good for those who are oppressed, the side of Jesus. It's not easy, but Jesus showed us the way. I hope we can find that way comfortable, convenient, and easy. Good luck. We stand. <clears throat> the commands of the Lord are clear, <clears throat> but His mercy is great. Let us pray to our Father. We trust in His wisdom. As we say after each petition, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> that the Catholic Church may guide her members in the path of righteousness and bring them closer to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may learn to turn away from sin with all our hearts, remaining obedient to God's law. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who do not believe may yet hear the word of God and be brought to eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may never neglect the sick, the old, the lonely, and who and all who suffer in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran, and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you search the heart of every man, and you know our innermost thoughts. Strengthen our hearts for true worship, and our hands for willing, more willing service to others. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the price of everlasting happiness through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeem him through Christ our Lord Amen through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Pinakpala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan, sa You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Seek 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy heaven. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are just now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you tend under my roof. But, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord the has, has come, come to his, his people and, and set, set them, them free. free. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilika at sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bitbit nyo ang mga bihaya ng Diyos Ama at ang mga panalangin na mahal na inang Maria. Ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.